and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Evening. Just went to Good Springs, unburdened myself. And this is the last task I'm actually ready. Eventually we'll That's when we no longer need the powder dangers. What? Good. Had him figured for NCR. One of the Rangers, maybe. Anyway, speaking of the NCR, I need you to take a walk down to Prim. The NCR hasn't raised hell over our breakout, and I want to find out why. They're up to something. I could feel it. I know the NCR has troops near Prim, so talk to the locals and find out if any of those troops are going to be coming our way. Yeah, get out of here. Just I love abusing the stealth system in a Bethesda game. Oh, I'm quite a ways actually from 50. Heard there was a new face around. I'm the doctor around here. Sort of. I was an NCR medic for six months, so I'm not exactly a doctor. Still, it's more medical training than any of the other guys here. It also gives me an excuse to stay out of any raiding parties. The gang can't lose its only doctor now, can it? Medical supplies go for a decent amount of caps in the right markets. I figured the quartermaster wouldn't notice any missing. I was wrong. Let's see. I've been a farmhand, a bouncer, a bandit, and an NCR trooper. I don't recommend any of them. The location by the highway makes it a good spot to shake down any travelers passing through. That's why Eddie and the rest are still around. Me, I like having big walls between myself and the wasteland. One night, there was a big explosion from the other cell block. I had no idea what was going on so I took cover in my bunk. When it was all over, the guards were dead and we were free. Most of the other prisoners scattered, but a few of us stuck around, obviously. Later.
one point. Take anything. It's about time a new customer showed up around here. I was getting sick of dealing with the same faces all the time. I worked in a casino in New Reno. One of the pit bosses decided he didn't like me, framed me over some caps, and I ended up in here. This is where the NCR sent prisoners to reform through hard labor. I never saw much reforming around here myself. Don't have any other place to go. I'd just end up back in another prison or dead out in the wasteland. I was always the guy who could get things, if you know what I mean. Figured I might as well keep on doing it. If I don't have anything you like, well, tough. I don't do special orders.
how would you like to buy some uh, cartons of cigarettes? No, you won't buy since I stole them from here. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, let's make our way to Prim now. Hey. on the road so I don't get blown up out here. I've actually ridden that coaster before. It was the tallest in the US when it was built. Where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot.
556 is something I actually need. It's another thing that Fallout 4 does have on New Vegas is uh, not having to worry about repairing the weapons.
Bane. If some citizen ever checked that uh, dumpster in Good Springs, it'd be quite a surprise. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. Pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Foreshadowing right here. Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like you or me. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that and turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be.
I might know something, but my memory ain't what it used to be. Sometimes it needs motivating. No need to get upset, youngster. We're all friends here. I swore not to say a word to no one, but an NCR deserter passed through some days ago and traded for supplies. According to him, the NCR has decided enough's enough and is going to send in a mess of troops to take back the prison any day now. Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law, but he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Sure, have a look. pretty much ever unless they're bottle cap mines and I might use one or two I don't need that shovel for now Give me a shout if you need anything else. Well, I'll answer what I can. That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Ask away. It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. It started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First there was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something, and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Don't go getting yourself shot. I get caught in here. But yeah, all that career canceling. All foreshadowing. Storm in the divide.
don't think I can pick most of these yet. Yeah. But I can take this. Mind me, that door was unlocked when I came here. Let's head on over to the 